Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Aussie Moto Vlogs. My name is Brendan and today I am bringing you the five things that I dislike about my bike here. So without further ado, let's jump into them. The first the thing that I dislike about this bike is the stock seat that comes with it. This seat absolutely sucks. Well now, while I've said that this bike is great for commuting, anything further than that, your seat, your ass is going to hurt from sitting on this seat for a long period of time. It is um, not a great experience and not one that I could recommend. If anything, I would highly recommend change, either changing the seat or getting a um, like a seat cushion kind of thing that you can put under it, just to try to lessen the um, amount of vibration that comes through the seat when you're riding. But um, yeah, your ass will be hurting probably anything over 40 minutes, I'd say, riding this thing. Now, I'm not sure if that will change if you're a skinnier bloke, but at least for the heavier blokes like myself, um, this seat is absolute garbage. I would not, I'd highly recommend changing this seat if I was keeping this bike full time. Okay, and the second thing I dislike about this bike is the lack of indication of what gear you're in. So if I just pull over here for you. If you have a look at the dashboard here, um, you can see that you have everything else under the sun except for what gear you're in. Now if you're anything like me, I have a bad habit of forgetting what gear I'm in and it's um, a little bit detrimental at, at times. But, um, and it's a big, a big headache as well. You can buy little like um, aftermarket mods that um, it, like sits about here, and it can tell you what gear you're in. But um, yeah, from what everything I've seen about them, they're delayed anyway, so they're not really worth it. But maybe if that's your thing, then go for it. But that's just something I just like about this bike. Okay, and for the third thing I dislike about this bike, it's the original mirrors. As I mentioned before, these are not the original mirrors. The original mirrors sit a lot more upright, and the visibility in them is absolutely garbage as well. The, especially if you're big, the only thing you can see is like out of that left slit there. Can't really see anything else behind you. So, I ended up having to replace these mirrors. These mirrors sit a lot more further out to the side. And um, the original mirrors are a lot more upright, which I absolutely hate. Okay, and the fifth and final thing that I, it's kind of a love-hate relationship with this last thing, and that is the actual weight of the bike. The weight of this bike is quite heavy, especially if you're looking at the uh, Dean's like MT-07. The weight difference is incredible. I'll, uh, when I say it's a good and bad thing, when you're doing like your slow speed maneuvers, it can be a little bit of a hassle because it does feel like the bike is going to tip out from under you. But uh, when you're going at a reasonable speed, the weight of the bike is really unnoticeable. But um, yeah, overall when you're doing slow speed things, especially commuting for example, if you're stuck in traffic, this bike does feel like half the time it's going to tip out from under you. And um, yeah, it's just a little bit of a hassle. I've gotten used to it over the years. But that's just a small little nuisance, I would say. And as a bonus dislike, it would have to be the headlights themselves for this motorbike. If you're unaware, a lot of the Ninjas were designed to only have one headlight on. This is your high beams. Your headlight does not turn off at all. It's always on. So, at least for me, I'm burning through globes like there's no tomorrow. So, if I just pull over, I can show you. So, yeah, as you can see, this headlight here is supposed to be on at all times. It is currently blown. As I've said, I go through headlights like there's no tomorrow. But, um, yeah, when it comes to, like, purchasing headlights over and over and over again, like every, so every few months or so, it does take a little bit of a toll on your wallet. 
But um, yeah, it's just a small little issue that I have with it. It's nothing major. It's just um, it can get a little bit expensive over time. But anyway, that is the end of this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like, subscribe, leave a comment, let us know what you think. And we'll um, see you in the next video. So, take care for now. Bye-bye.